Hello my lovelies, today I'm gonna show you the easiest makeup look that I do almost every day, especially when I have 5 or 10 minutes to do my makeup before my client's makeup or before I leave the house. I know that usually in our day life we don't have so much time to spend on makeup or on stuff like this, but I know that we can always find 5 or 10 minutes to do our makeup and to make us look beautiful. And to be honest with you, I can't live without foundation or concealer because, as you see, my skin is not even, I have a lot of blemishes, I have a lot of spots and just foundation or a concealer can make my skin to look even, not just my skin, the skin in general, I mean. But before applying a foundation or a concealer, we need to prep the skin, it's so important. It doesn't matter if it's a professional makeup or it's an everyday makeup, I always make sure that my skin is very well hydrated because if you don't hydrate your skin it will look so dull so dry so flaky and the foundation or concealer will not look right and for this step I'll use Neutrogena Hydro Boost gel cream I like it because it hydrates very well the skin and because it has good ingredients you know it doesn't have fragrance or oils or alcohol and because my skin is prone to acne, I'm so careful what I use for my skin like every day, you know? And before makeup, for me it's so important to have products that hydrate very well the skin and doesn't cause me acne. I apply it on my lips as well, on my neck. And this cream from Neutrogena is also a very good primer. It leaves the skin soft, smooth and hydrated. I'm going to use this advanced nail peptide eye cream from Cosrx that I love so so much. I think you saw it guys in my tutorial so many times. I bought it I think 3 or 4 months ago, I don't know, but it's so so good. It lasts me so long, it hydrates very well the area, leaves it soft. I apply also on my lips. Every product that I apply on my skin, I apply on my lips as well, if it's a hydrating product, of course. Next, I'm going to apply this sheer glow foundation from NARS in shade Light 3 or Gobi. And I wear this foundation especially in cold season because it's a hydrating foundation. And during the summer, I can't say that it lasts so good, especially on my combination to oily skin. My god, and I hate this pump. I will do like this. This is a light shade suitable for light skin with neutral undertones and yellow undertones. As you see, it's like a beige shade, it's so so natural. And I will take this Spectrum brush A02. And I'm applying foundation starting from the center of the face. I like it because it looks so natural, it has so good ingredients, it doesn't contain fragrance or oils or alcohol and it's so so good for my skin that it's prone to acne. It has a natural finish, it's not dewy, it lasts very well for every day. I think it's perfect for me. It doesn't last like 12 or 8 hours, no. I think it lasts like 4, 6, even 8 hours. It's not sticky at all. And as you see, I apply it even in the eye area because actually when I am in a rush, I don't apply so many products and for me a foundation or a concealer is enough. It has a light to medium coverage. From my point of view, this foundation is suitable for all skin types. Of course, on oily skin it doesn't last so well, but for an everyday use it's so so good. I blend it towards the edges, I apply it on my eyelids as well. When it comes to the under eyes, I don't apply too much product because usually for my everyday makeup, I don't apply powder. And if I want this area to not crease, I have to apply less product. First I'm using a brush for foundation because this is faster, but I always switch to a sponge to make it more even. 
and I noticed that when I tap very well the foundation with the sponge, it lasts longer. Even now my skin is more evenly, look how pale I look, so I definitely need a little bit of color. And now I'm going to use this bronzer from this beautiful palette that I'm just in love with from Charlotte Tilbury Filmstar Bronze and Glow. And as you see, this bronzer, I use it so often, I used it in so many tutorials and for my everyday makeup I find it so quicker to use a bigger brush for this. So I'm gonna take this bronzer, first I'm tapping the brush in my hand and then I'm going to start from the cheeks with gentle movements. As you see I'm tapping it because I didn't apply powder so I have to apply it so so gentle to not suck the foundation. I take more bronzer because this product is not so pigmented. It looks so so natural. It contours the skin and gives it this warmness that we all need, you know? Even we have a pale skin, we need a little bit of color. By the way, this is a brush from Yoko Tools Precision Powder. This has a very nice shape that helped me to apply product just where I need. I apply it also on the forehead, close to the hair, on the jawline, a little bit on the nose. I take a little product on the tip of the brush and I'm doing just like this. Just a little bit. Sometimes for this step I can change the brush to take a smaller brush, but when I'm in the rush, I just take the same brush. First I'm tapping a little bit the foundation because it creased a little and then I'm applying on the eyelids as well, especially in the crease to contour the eye. Guys, I wear this makeup so often, I think this is the easiest makeup look. Really, I think I wear bronzers on the eyes more than eyeshadows because they have the perfect color to contour the eye and to look natural, you know? And as you see, I'm applying it right in the crease towards the temple for a lifting effect. Then I can apply it on the eyelids as well. And because this bronzer has a little bit of shimmer in it, it looks so natural and luminous. Even though my eyebrows are thick enough for my everyday makeup, I like to fill them a little bit. But first, I take a spoolie and I brush them up. Next, I'm going to use this eyebrow pencil from L'Oreal Paris Infallible Brows 24 Hour Micro Precision Pencil in shade Blonde. And I fill in the brow so quickly. And I usually don't apply so much product. Just there where I have more gaps. And this color is so natural suitable for blonde hair even though my hair is black I have blonde hair and for my eyebrows I like to do them more lighter then I'm taking again the spoolie and brush them up and because my eyebrows are quite rebellious I like to set them in place with this Benefit 24 hour brow setter that is one of my favorites and again with this brush brush them up. Before mascara I always like to curl my lashes and I'm using this eyelash curler from Kiko Milano. To lift my lashes and I'm going to use this mascara from L'Oreal Paris Telescopic Lift Extra Black. To be honest with you, I don't like the brush, but I like that it doesn't stick my lashes and it makes them quite long. And usually when I don't wear eyeliner, I apply mascara just on the upper lashes. For the lips, first I'm going to use this lip liner from NYX in shade 
nude truffle this is one of my favorites even this is already so small I will use it because this is my favorite shade it doesn't matter if I apply a lipstick a balm or a lip gloss this is my favorite shade to contour the lips and because this shade is always sold out, I have to manage it with this little guy. For me the contour is so important because my lips don't have a perfect shape and I usually like to use a pencil for this. And the last product that I'm using is this lip balm from God that I absolutely love. This is Peptide Lip Tint in shade, in shade Ribbon. And as you see, I almost finished it because I use it every day, several times a day. It hydrates very well the lips. It's a little bit sweet. has a nice pinky shade. And I like this glossy finish. It's so slippery. I love it. And this is the final result, guys. I hope you liked it and I hope it was useful for you. Have a lovely day. Bye!